Can I ask you about women in particular in this state and how badly they've been treated because of religious views being imposed on them, their fertility being controlled, sure. shaming, that when women go into hospital, and particularly the controversy surrounding this new maternity hospital, seeing these symbols is very triggering for them. It's very traumatic for them. And is, is there any move towards understanding that? Yeah, I mean, it's it, just what you're saying. My, I was talking the other day about somebody, and I, I know your generation, you're too young to remember this, but my mother's generation had that awful experience of being churched. Mm. None of you heard of yes, that, of you course. know? And the idea that you'd had to go to the priest after having the baby, you know, this is within a, a married context, by yeah. the way. There's no, um, you know... The, that you were considered kind of unclean. Yeah, almost, yeah, like a cleansing yeah. thing. Yeah, to be brought back into the fold, mm. nearly, and so on. So it's, it's very historic, but what you've said, right up to the present day. And, I mean, I, I think that, that if we don't deal with things like that, Grania, you know, it... it it's a question All you have to do is look at the Savita experience, you know, and, mm. and, and, you know, constitutional changes. The church and the state in this country have been mm. inextricably linked, sure. for good or for bad, sure. up till yeah. now. Well, I think some good and I think some bad. Mm. You know, I think that there are things we could outline that we did well and I think we did, we did very badly and have paid the price for it. But, like, unless we... Uh, you know, I would be encouraged in, in the in the in the new Archbishop of Dublin. Like he certainly is talking the language of reform, mm. and and you know, obviously we'll see how that. And I and I hope I would be hopeful that he will. But that's one of the things. If we don't examine in detail again our relationship with women, I mean, it's been it's it's the obvious one that uh, there are others, but that's a core mm. where if we don't get our act together and be truly sorry, but make amends and do it differently, yeah. make the changes, then we will die. And, and I mean, we deserve to die if we're going to continue with that old model of operating. Mm. Uh, you, you've mentioned before that it's almost seen as a sin to be Catholic now. And the way things are going like that, uh, and people are almost embarrassed to mention that they practice religion. Yeah, I think, you you see, like I think it has swung that way. Now, I, I'm sure not everybody would agree with that, but, like, I was in a restaurant there recently, and we were in a corner. It was quiet. Like, I wasn't talking. And I just said, well, we say a prayer. We're going to bless the food. Mm -hmm. But one of our, our parties said, oh, no, no, don't do that. And I said, why not? She said, you're going to offend People, listen, you're going to offend people by saying a quiet prayer over food. Mm. You know, uh, is that the stage we're at? And, and that's my question in it all. Mm. Anybody who knows me, like, I'd be very open to the reform, mm. the stuff Grania's just raised, all that. But will we swing so far that you nearly will be apologising um, for any public... And Michael, where, Michael if you saw somebody is, saying yeah. grace at a table in a restaurant, would you, would you actually be offended by that? No, or, no? not in the slightest. I mean, I, I, not only have I no problem with people practising their, their religion, I support people's right to practise their mm. religion. The point that, that I'm making and that Atheist Ireland makes is that the state should not be promoting it. And that the state should not be promoting either religion, Any religion or, or, or atheism. Yeah. Or atheism. So the state should not be... go with this then, though, Michael? Because we've seen some countries take this to quite extreme levels. Mm. And you, you think of, uh, of France banning the hijab as well. You have... I mean, do you think that Ireland needs to just remove all religious symbolism? No, again, it's, it's not a case of, of Ireland doing anything. It's, it's recognising the distinction between the people and the state. The people have a right to practice their religion in whatever way they want. But the state, in order to protect equally everybody's right to practice their religion or belief, the state should remain neutral. The state, to use a sporting analogy, the state should be the referee.